Hi guys, it's Katie and I am finally back with another video for 2016 and I know I haven't filmed a video for 2016 so this is my first video for 2016 and I'm so excited. I have a big surprise which is, you guys are seeing it already, I cut my hair. Ta-da! It is so short, my hair used to go like all the way to like my back here if you guys can see and now it is to my shoulders oh my god i absolutely love it i hope you guys do too and if you guys want hair videos or something like that then just tell me in the comments below but today is a really exciting video because it is so requested lately i've been getting so many of these requests so i am finally doing this video this is a how i edit my instagram pictures and i'll just show you guys some of my instagram pictures right now Ta -da 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 -da. Um, that is how my Instagram looks, like my pictures, and then my feed is like this. I'm planning to do this like a series. I'm going to do like a how I take Instagram pictures and how to get a good Instagram feed. So if you guys want like an Instagram series, just give this video a thumbs up and let's get right into it, shall we? Alright, so I'm just going to show you guys my feed again because, you know, why not just show you guys it on my Instagram page. My feed is actually a bit different now. I delete some of the pictures to kind of like refresh and all that stuff. So basically my only editor I ever ever use is ViscoCam. This is the only editor I use and this is just how my library looks. These are like photos that I'm probably going to use or have already used or am not going to use. But I just put it all in my library and this is a photo that I upload and I'm planning to edit it for you guys. I download all the free filters and this one is called Hypebeast X Visco in HB2 and I use this one because it's just really cool it's like um, a cool tone bluish and it's really like dark and stuff and usually I turn it down if it's like too blue I don't want my feed to be like super super blue and then I go into the editing area and I turn up the exposure or turn it down. I just experiment every time I edit a new photo. There's never really like one distinct number I have. And I usually always turn up the clarity. It really just like makes everything more crisp and sharp, which is really, really cool and what you kind of want to like go for. And also I turn down the temperature maybe to get like the blue tone if I don't have enough of it. And also, I um, go over and sometimes turn on the saturation if there's too much color. I really have like a cooler tone feed. And here is another example of a really blue photo. And I changed it up as you guys can see. And basically, I just went to saturation and turned it all the way down so it didn't look as blue. Because I don't really want a blue feed, but if you want a blue feed, you could turn the saturation up. And here is another example. Here I just um, use uh, HP2 again, but I didn't like turn it all the way up or anything. Again, as I said, it depends on the photo. I don't have specific numbers I use. And I didn't do anything with the exposure there, but I did obviously turn up the clarity. Clarity is something I always use, and I didn't do anything with saturation, but I did turn out the temperature just a little bit, and that is pretty much it. There's the difference. And this is the photo I'm gonna upload right now and basically I just save it to my camera roll in actual size and then I go to Instagram and I just upload it. I don't do anything with the Instagram editing um, because I don't feel the need to and basically I just post it and that is really how I edit my Instagram pictures. Pretty simple. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you're not. It's at Katie Leia. And that is pretty much how I edit it. It's not really complicated at all. Okay, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned something that can help you guys on your Instagram pictures. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, obviously, if you aren't already. It is at Katie Leia. Oh yeah, there's another thing. I did change my name to Katie Leia instead of Cutie Katie. I'm so sorry that I'm like fixing my hair all over the place. I don't know like what I should do with it. So it's gonna look super messy in this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below your Instagram username so I can check you guys out or just comment down below what you like about my Instagram or if you want more Instagram videos. And of course, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I love you all. Mwah.